Hello, friends of Forza Lazar. I'm Freddy Cabrera, and we're here with Alejandro Sanchez, the head of the company Savilin Pro, who is going to tell us a bit about the production processes in his company. How are you, Alejandro? How are you doing? Thank you for having us. And well, here we have a sample of some of the pieces of the products. Tell us a little about how the process works and also what these pieces are for. Yes, actually, these pieces are for protective cases. Let's say, for example, that these are professional cases. These are corner protectors, brackets and handles. Absolutely everything has to be made of metal to provide strong, durable protection over time. These products are first cut into a silhouette. Then in the die cutting process, they are stamped and finally sent for finishing. Before the introduction of the metal cutting machine, how were these made? With dies, thank you. With dies? Yes, no. It was terrible. I mean, we struggled a lot for years. Obviously, we switched the... And just a bit, could you maybe give us an idea of the time frames? How long did it take with dies and how long does it take now with metal cutting? Well, with dies, maybe the time dropped from 100%. We reduced it to about 70%, right? But really, it's more in the material waste where we notice the difference. Ah, okay. And the quality of the cut. The quality. They're not the same. They're not the same. The burrs are... Right, and there's no post-processing. Everything comes out burr-free directly. No. Everything comes out and the modification of the silhouettes, right? A bit about the products that are available at Sorpresa. Tell me, what are they and what are the processes like? Yes? The products are mainly corner pieces, brackets, handles, and metal plates. Perfect, and plates for load centers. There's a bit of diversification that's related, and also at the same time, it's for the same field, but we're entering another market. Ah, okay, perfect. What's the first step? Do we choose the material? Yes, we choose the material, the designs are made, and from there it goes to cutting. These solutions, especially for load center solutions, the designs are customized. Clients give us combinations of breakers, suction cups, the different types of connections, and they are customized. They give us a list and we create the designs. Perfect. And then it goes to cutting. And do you generate the designs yourselves or do the clients? We design all of them. Ourselves. All the designs. Yes, the client just tells us, I need this, this, and this, and we make it. Perfect. And after cutting and generating the different pieces, what is the next phase? It goes into a bending process. Okay, directly into the bending process. And then after that, they go to finishing, either painting or galvanizing. Okay. And what are the challenges in the bending process and those post processes? What would you say is the main challenge here? For bending, it's a die cutting process. We have a lot of experience with that and already have several molds of different types. What set us apart was the variety of cuts we can make with the machine. Ah, uh, I see. Perfect. It gets customized. Here we have a piece that was just taken out. This one is for an audio box. Exactly, you know, for a power center. For sound. A small sound system, a small audio system. They're in high demand. And this piece specifically, what else needs to be done to it so that it can already be just maybe bends? Finishing. And from there, sometimes clients ask us for the pickups, the assembly, or sometimes the clients who handle assembly themselves do all the wiring on the bottom part. Ah, okay, okay, okay. We have as follows. Two types of clients. Okay, okay. And well, you all also make everything so it can be displayed in the showcase. That's mainly what it is. Sometimes clients request it like this, just the empty case, or we also do the wiring and assembly with the product already inside. Oh, perfect, perfect. Diego, tell me a little bit about what your day-to-day -day is like with the machine, how it's been, the change of having the machine for you and what you like about this metal cutting technology. Honestly, I'm really impressed by how easy it is, especially with the tools in the application and even the training was very simple. All the components are very user-friendly. Really, the only thing is you always have to be careful with everything and make sure everything is in order. And how about using the software? Very user-friendly, easy, really easy. In fact, right now I'm training a friend. The thing is, if for some reason he can't do it, my coworker can. And I mean, even without any professional studies or training, I can operate it without any problem. I find that pretty amazing. Diego, and about how many pieces or plates do you cut per day, more or less? I can easily produce about 500 cube pieces, maybe 500, even up to 1,000. For the audio plates, I can make about 300 to 500. I can easily keep producing for the full 8-hour workday without any problem. 
Here we see a box and we also see a sample of some of the products you make. So what is the final stage of production? No. No, the, the final stage is basically once the finishing is done, the pieces are mounted onto the boxes, which is also another part that we handle. Mainly, it was because of the assembly, more than the manufacturing of these boxes, that the need arose to produce the hardware. Perfect. Through that, we were led to implement the ASUS, the cutting process. And then it's ready to be sold to the public. After that, it's simply taken to the display case. Where is your physical store located? We are in the downtown area on Meave Street and El Salvador Passage at La Cove. Perfect. Here in the state of Mexico, so now you all know the entire process of metal cutting that's involved in creating some business lines, certain products, and also these spectacular boxes. Once again, Alejandro, thank you very much. And we'll be visiting you, and we also hope that, thanks to the growth of your company, we can visit you again and see even bigger machines so that production can be much larger. And again, thank you for your openness and especially for letting us see all these production processes. After witnessing the production of the plates for the load centers and the audio plates, as well as the boxes, we say goodbye from Seville and Cases here in Mexico City at Alejandro Sanchez's company. If you want to know more about laser technology and the Forza laser machines that cut metal, give us a like, subscribe and share this video. See you next time.